Hello everyone! In today's video, I'm going to show you a Bill.com tutorial for beginners. Now, this video will help you manage your finances with the help of Bill.com, especially if you're a beginner. So without further ado, let's get started by heading to Bill.com's website right here. So after you've logged in or created an account with Bill.com, by the way, you can do that just by heading to bill.com this website right here and then on the landing page you can just cl click on get started so that you can create your own account and once you have an account then log your credentials in and verify your email address so that you can have access to this landing page right here so as you can see from the get-go bill.com already provides us with the necessary things for getting started in bill.com so for example we can complete these uh, key tasks to get the most out of our new account. So here for paying bills, of course, we need to add a payment method. So if we try to click here, we can choose to either add a credit or debit card. So here you can earn card rewards and it can be verified instantly. There's also a flat fee of 2.9% of each transaction. You can also connect a bank account which of course you'll be needing your bank account credentials and the fee will be per check or ACH. So let's try to open this one. As you can see here, you can link a bank account and then you'll just need to upload some details and answer or upload some documents such as driver's license, ID card, passport, or permanent resident card. And you'll also be needing to answer a few questions from uh, public records. This is to, of course, keep your account safe and make sure that it's you who's using the account. Now we're going to head back to our onboarding page. And here we can also add vendors. So you can enter or upload your vendor's information. So here we can either provide vendor's email and address or we can import vendor via upload using a CSV file if you have that with you. Here you can also create bills. So you can enter or upload your bills. So you have the option to send a document to your inbox by forwarding items to your unique bill email. You can upload a bill or enter the details manually and they can also auto scan and pre-fill into info from PDFs. Or you can also import bills via csv file upload so let's try to check what it looks like when we try to upload a bill right over here and as you can see there you just need the details for the vendor name invoice number po number amount etc so the bill frequency whether it's one time or recurring so there we go just uh once you've filled in the details you can go ahead and create the bill or you can also save it as draft and you can come back to it later if there's some info missing now we're just going to head back to our onboarding page to check what else we need to get started here to start on uh, getting paid you can of course create your first invoice so creating your first invoice you can enter or upload your invoice there's an option to add an invoice right here or again upload it via csv file let's try to check how it looks when we, we try to add an invoice. Here, there's actually a step-by-step -step tip as well from bill.com, which uh, proves how user-friendly this software is, especially for beginners. So as you can see, select add customer to get started. Then you can select customize invoice to change the appearance of your invoice and add your logo and choose what info your customers see. And then enter your invoice details. You can also include a payment term. If you do, the due date will automatically update. So that helps with automation, gives you less work. Then you can also add line items. You can create new items by selecting add item in the item name field. You can enter a description, quantity, and price. Make sure to select the tax checkbox on any taxable items. And then just finalize your invoice. If any of your items are taxable, add a tax rate, and then they will calculate the tax amount for you. You can also add attachments. Just drag and drop any files in the attachments box below. 
And then you can go ahead and send your invoice. So just select review and send to review your invoice, edit your email, and send it to your customer. If you're not ready yet, again, you can save it as a draft so you can come back to it later. So this is what it looks like. Just need to fill in the details that are necessary for the invoice and you'll have a preview of your invoice on the right hand side of the screen. You can also drag your files here and add some other messages on the invoice if you want. You can also hide the preview if you want more space for, filing, for filling in the details. So there, that's uh, for the invoice. You can also save templates here or add a new one. They have a bill detailed. Let's try to check the bill simple version. So right there, just uh, less info is needed. So again, feel free to customize an invoice if uh, it's uh, more suited to your business needs. Just uh, everything is accessible here in this page. So now we're just gonna head back again to our onboarding page and then move on to the next one which is adding your company logo so you can give a professional look to your invoices and emails of course we know how important this is when we whenever we want to leave an impression towards our our customers clients or partners gives us a more professional look you can drag and up, upload a file right here if you already have a company logo and it will automatically be placed in your uh, templates, emails, drafts, bills, whatnot. So anything that uh, you need to send out within bill.com. Then you can also add a bank account so they can deposit payments from your customer. So this helps if uh, this helps by having a bank account where the payments automatically go to, which is basically going to be your uh, company's bank account. So just uh, you can link that right here. Again, you need to upload the necessary documents and then answer some questions or security questions, if you may. And then what else do we have here? You can also add a customer. So th uh, this feature serves like a, uh, a contact, if you may. So you can have contacts in bill.com. Let me try to check it here. You can either upload via CSV file or just enter the customer information manually. So let's try to click that. Just enter the customer name and then the customer email address and then you can automatically add that customer. So let's try adding one right now. And then I'm gonna input the email. So we can add the customer. And as you can see, the customer has been added successfully. To add more, we can head to customers right here, which you can also see on the receivables part of the left tab on the screen. So let's try to check that real quick just to see if the customer has been saved. There we go. So we can see the info on the customer we just saved, any unpaid bills, drafts, invoices. We can also create an invoice directly for this customer. And we can edit the info for more actions. You have here archive, merge, sub customers, credit memos, documents, etc. So anything you need from uh, your customers. And then you can add a new one here. And you can also search by customer name if you have a long list of customers. So yeah, that's it for the customers part. And basically that's uh, that sums up everything you need to get started on bill.com. Once you have that down, then you'll be able to smooth sail on your operations with this software. And that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.